They're called country clubs, and across the country, more and more of these upscale shooting ranges are opening up, like this one in one of Miami's trendiest neighborhoods, the Art District. The range is called Lock and Load, and many of the customers tell us it's all about the experience, being able to shoot in a safe environment, and learning from some of the best firearms instructors that are out there. Take a look. Reactions is usually, wow, I can't believe it. I was impressed, it's, it's nothing like you've seen before. You don't get to shoot these types of guns every day. It was definitely a once in a lifetime experience. Well, <laughs> all the weapons you know from the, from the cinema uh, are here. It was a wow factor. Some like to call us also a museum, not just a gun range, because we do have some older firearms exhibited throughout the facility, and we also do have some art pieces that fit in with the Windwood ambiance. We have our helicopter that catches your eye immediately when you walk in. Just very, very open, very comfortable feeling, very uh, family-like environment. It's not dark and cold. Fire ranges should be a place of education, and it should be a welcoming place. And let's face it, the biggest problem is, is there's very little education about firearms. So a lot of the perceptions are false, and a lot of false fear is false. So they get to hands-on experience of what it is to actually fire a firearm. So tell us what happens. Um, somebody comes in here for the first time. What's the process that they have to go through to be able to shoot here? Once you choose what you're, you're going to fire, you're taken by a specialist. They go into the briefing area where they go over safety, which is the most important part. Anytime that you're with a firearm, you have a firearm specialist with you. And then from there, the fun begins. Most ranges you go into is cold, very dim lit. You can't really see where you're shooting at, but you get, you get a good target picture in here. A lot of the customers that we get here are from Europe, which they have no accessibility to firearms at all. It's the first time in the US, and it's the first time that I shoot with guns. I think it's good. You could learn with the weapons, and you could make your own uh, decision if you, if you like it or if you don't like it. In Germany, you couldn't go into a shop and shoot with guns. It's not possible in Germany to shoot with guns. Something that perhaps our own citizens take for granted. You know, they don't. The freedom to be able to hold a firearm, the freedom to actually experience a firearm. And a lot of people feel like, wow, we've been cheated. This is really a wonderful experience. Favorite gun would either have to be the saw or the uh, Colt Commando 9 What do you think, though, about people saying machine guns, tactical firearms, oh, they're dangerous? And what the heck do you need to shoot a firearm like this for? They're definitely not. They're definitely not. That's a big no-no. Everyone has this misconception that you know, any and everyone can get their hands on these guns. Well, you can't. People always talk about the, the negative side of a firearm, but it's got its pros. I believe that is why we're, we're, we're seeing more of that clientele. I think it's a step in the right direction in education. It really is. If we're educated on what it is that we're doing, it makes everybody all around us safer. Politics, you can leave that out the door. My mom's not very fond of firearms, and I feel like I could bring her here and she would feel comfortable and she would actually enjoy this experience. About 90% of the people that come through here are first time. We've had senior citizens come and shoot. There's some firearms that they've actually gone through. The Tommy gun for Shea have said, hey, I've shot this before in the military, and I get to do it again here. A lot of women are coming in. They want to be able to protect themselves. Women, believe it or not, shoot a lot better than men. And we do have a training program for that. Anywhere from concealed weapon permit to basic uh, firearm handling 101 to advanced firearm. We do it all here. Being a lady, sometimes when you go to gun ranges, it's like you get looks or, you know, someone just makes you feel very uncomfortable. And this is just a great experience. A lot of people just don't feel secure in today's world. It's almost like an insurance policy. Mm -hmm. You hope that you never have to use it, but in the event that you do need it, you'll be able to protect yourself. And as a father, as a husband, there's nothing more satisfying than knowing that you can protect your family. I do think this is the future of ranges. This is date night or family night now. When they leave, uh, they always have a huge smile on their face. Seeing uh, somebody that, that can't do this walk in and go, wow, and then leave saying, I'm coming back next time. That's what excites me the most right now. It is an exciting time. What is the sense in having knowledge if you're not willing to share with others? I'm a retired police officer here in South Florida. I was a SWAT team member, I was a sniper, competition. Still serving the military. So it's, it's, it's a great sense of accomplishment for me because I get to share something that I've done for many years. I don't know if it globally it will, but at least for that person, 
I impacted that person in a positive way. Oh yeah, 10 stars. Definitely a lifetime experience. Definitely come here. TripAdvisor rate us the number one attraction in, in Miami. And this place has only been open uh, about two years. It says a lot, you know? Um, I think we're doing the right thing. Safety is number one, and education would be number two, and fun is number three. <laughs> Get out and try it.